pick it down. We'll see you, man. Maybe you guys could sing along, because here we all are on this little barn. You go like this. Sometimes. Try that. Sometimes. That's so rousing. I'll tell you when. Beautiful singing. It's beautiful. Sam Amadon with Sam Cohen. Great stuff, guys. Sounded fantastic today. Uh, you, you come from a musical family. Uh, your, your parents are longtime respected folk musicians. Uh, you started uh, playing fiddle at three. Yes. Probably don't even remember a time you didn't have a fiddle in your hands. I, I remember think. when they asked me if I wanted to learn it, but then I don't remember the next few years after that. <laughs> I said, I guess I said yes. yes. I don't remember saying yes, though. I just remember saying, like, do you want to learn the fiddle? So musically growing up, I mean, you were, you were steeped in, in traditional folk music and, 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 and Irish music. I mean, that's, that's kind of what you yeah, did, that, right? Yeah, I'm from New England, from Vermont, and the, the fiddle style there is, and, you know, my parents and a lot of people, you know, I grew up doing a lot of contra dancing. I don't know if there's any contra dancers in the audience, and, um, or, and go, you know, playing for that music. And um, that's, that fiddle style is like the New England fiddle style, 
but when I was a, maybe a 12 or so, I realized that that fiddle styroli was just a mix of French Canadian and Irish and old time. And so the th I'm not Irish at all, but but I gravitated towards that style because it's just really wonderful style playing, and I was totally obsessed with it for the for a long time after that. I think uh, well, many, many of us in this room probably we we had a, a period of a rebellion of sorts where we rejected our parents' music and. And, and did whatever with that, but I think some of us probably came back around eventually. But did, did you have a period like that? Were, were you? Sort they of made it difficult because they were too <laughs> open-minded. You know, like the. Um, That's good. That's good. They they definitely were obsessed. Like we only really had CDs of local folk bands playing fiddle music. But as soon as we started bringing in other stuff, they were interested in it or whatever. So, and my dad had had it like he was really into Bitches Brew, the Miles Davis oh, record. Yeah. So they they had different things they were into. And they weren't at all like preservationists or anything. It was more like doing this just because it was fun to do and nice like did, did, did they, uh, you know, did they talk to you about your records and, and, and what you're doing technically, or is it more of? Well, I stole a lot of the songs from them. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Um, but so yeah, they'll uh, men come and mention that. That's something that, uh, that I mean, that's kind of your thing. Is is you take uh, traditional Mostly, songs yeah. you, and, you, and you rework them, you recast them, uh, however you want to put it. How, how do, what is your word for that and, and what you do with those songs? Um, yeah, just rework. Like I, I didn't, I love singing and I love playing music with different musicians and collaborating people, but I've never been that compelled to write songs, so I, this was like a strat a way out. <laughs> and you also, I like writing music, you know, so I could write all the little parts around that. And, and you combine, like, you, you'll take, you'll take another song, that, and, and maybe throw yeah, a line like in Yeah, the Blue Mountains one, I took the words from the Blue Mountains, but the melody comes from a different song, and then the, you know, the part I sort of made up. And I deleted, I took out most of the verses because there was like some whole drama in there that was not so interesting. <laughs> so in a way, I mean, it's, 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 you know, you can think of other art forms that do this, you know, and, and you can call it collage or, or cut-up method, mm. or, or, but, uh, you know, maybe musically the closest relative to this is, is hip-hop. And, and, and I always have felt that way, but nobody, <laughs> nobody else really says that, you know. No, I mean, yeah, no. It's Bob Dylan's fault that you're supposed to do all those different skills at once, you know, the writing and playing is too much for my little mind. Thank you so much, Madame.